In this video, we'll learn how to connect the 9110 metal controller to Arduino and make it work. This is the L9110 motor controller, and uh, as you can see, it is uh, quite a small component. It's only about 3 centimeters long and about 6 grams. At the moment, I have my motor controller connected to just one DC motor from these two outputs. And there it is, a small DC motor, but um, you can power up to uh, 12 volts um, and no less than 2.5 volts for a DC motor. And the current rating is up to 800 milliamps continuously. Now, keep in mind that we have two pairs of green outputs, so we can connect two DC motors simultaneously. One here and one here. Or we can power one step motor from all four of these green outputs. On the other side, we have the inputs over here. So on the input side here, we got the VCC and ground, which are the middle two pair of pins. Uh, these go to your power source, uh, making sure that ground goes negative and VCC goes to positive. As I said, Already, you can um, supply a voltage of up to 12 volts to the VCC and no less than 2.5 volts to VCC to power your motors. Now, these two pins on the side, this side here or this side here, are basically the input pins from your Arduino controller to control the speed as well as the direction of your motor. So these two pins here will control this motor over here and these two pins over here will control that motor over there or use all four pins to control a stepper motor okay let's uh, connect this up uh, so here I have a, my power source um, it's a 8 battery power pack so with brand new batteries uh, say alkaline batteries with a typical voltage of say 1.5 or to 1.6 even you should get at least 12 volts from a power pack like this but these are old batteries and so my voltage is only about 6 volts at the moment uh, if they were rechargeable batteries your, your typical maximum voltage is about 1.2 when they're fully charged so let's connect this one up to my motor controller and keeping in mind that uh, red is uh, positive red is my VCC so let's put that together and my, I've got my red lead connected to my white lead here so it's still the same thing so let's get it into VCC there it goes and now for my black lead my ground my negative it's going into ground and let's put that in there and you see my middle controller turns on now let's connect the signal wires from Arduino to the middle controller and I've chosen digital pins two and four so if I can just avoid the glare here uh, so yeah, two and four oh. hopefully that's better so the reason why I chose digital pins two and four is because they're plain digital pins so they only have two values high and low the ones which are not, uh, which are PWM enabled, are the ones with a tilde symbol. So the ones like three, five, six, and uh, all these ones up here. But for the simple sketch, I just want to turn my motor on and off. So there's only two values I need, and I'm just going to use uh, pins two and four, and keep my PWM pins for some other purpose, where I need a speed variation or a variation output. So here we go, I'll just choose one lead here, this is a, a green lead, it doesn't matter what, what colour it is, and I'll put it in uh, location number two, and connect it up over here to my motor controller, doesn't matter which pin I put it into, because it, I can always reverse the pins to change the polarity of the motor directions, no big deal, so let's see how it goes, if you don't like it, just swap them around, and here, Here's my yellow lead, and I'll put it into pin 4. Pin 4 there. 
and I put that into the other pin on the motor controller, uh, this one here. So if I want to change the direction of the motor, and I don't like it, when it's set, I can just flip the wires around here, or flip the wires around over here, or even over here, it doesn't matter really. So as you can see in a simple sketch, um, the motor turns on and off, um, with a piece of delay, uh, and it's going from zero output to full output. In the future sketch, we'll show you how to vary this using a potentiometer.